हरि ओम तत्सत वेलकम टू स्वामी ज्योतिर्मयानंदा सोसाइटी आर जर्नी टू सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब फॉर द मिस्टिकल मीनिंग्स एंड टू एंजॉय डेली सत्संग वी आर करेंटली एक्सप्लोरिंग द स्क्रिप्चर गुरु गीता व्हिच इज द डिस्कशन डायरेक्ट बिटवीन लॉर्ड शिवा एंड माता पार्वती एंड दोज प्रोफाउंड श्लोकस वी आर एंजॉयिंग इन आर डेली सत्संग सो टुडे वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम श्लोका नंबर फिफ्टी श्रीनाथ चरण द्वंद्व यस्याम दिशी विराजते तस्ये दिशे नमस्कुरियाद भक्त्या प्रतिदिन प्रिय ओ डिय वन बव डेली विद डिवोशन इन द डायरेक्शन विच द गुरुज टू फीट आर सिचुएटेड देर फोर यू मस्ट हैव सीन देर इज अ कॉमन अकरेंस इन सनातन धर्म एंड इन हिंदू होम्स पीपल प्लेस द गुरुज पादुका द लोटस फीट ऑफ द गुरु इन देयर टेम्पल्स एंड दे एडोर एंड वर्शिप दैम विद ग्रेट डिवोशन बिकॉज दिस वे दे कीप देयर गुरुज प्रेजेंस इन देयर हार्ट्स मूविंग ऑन टू श्लोका फिफ्टी वन तस्ै दिशे सतम मंजिलेश आर्य प्रक्षिप्ते मुखरिते मधुपैर्बुद्ध जागरती यत्र भगवान गुरुचक्रवर्ती विश्वोदय प्रलय नाटक नित्य साक्षी सो नाउ लॉर्ड शिवा इज गोइंग इन अ ट्रांस एंड देर फोर ही इज स्टार्टिंग टू Uh, say the shlokas in a little bit more complex meter therefore you must have seen the shloka was a little bit longer than the regular meter lord shiva says o oh, beloved the wise continually offer handfuls of flowers accompanied by the sound of bumble bees in the direction where god the highest among gurus watches as the eternal witness over the play of the manifestation and dissolution of the world so even the gurus and everyone doing their role in this earth or doing their duties are all being carefully watched by the creator god himself who is the jagat guru the guru of gurus so don't ever think god is not aware or is there a god don't let those thoughts come in your mind for you will be committing uh, unknowingly committing a sin because we are living in god's world we are using his air his water his uh, ether his earth his fire and even then if we continue to remain grateful or to refuse his existence it is nothing short of being sinful so moving on to the next shloka shloka 52 lord continues shri nathadi guru trayam ganapatim peeth trayam bhairavavam bhairavam siddho ghambatuk trayam pada yugam dutihi kramam mandalam वीरान दुष्टुष्कषि नवक वीरावली पंचक श्रीमन्मालिनी मंत्रराज सहित वंदे गुरोरमंडल सो लॉर्ड शिवा कंटिन्यूज टू ऑफर हिज एडोरेशन टू द गुरु एंड the disciples he says i bow i bow down to the guru circle which comprises the three gurus the three gurus are shri nath and trayambak and amardak ganesha uh, ganesha is the lord of obstacle removal and he says the three seats also kamarup purnagiri and jalandhar and bhairavas bhairavas are the eight fierce manifestations of shiva the group of siddhas the three boys viranchi chakra and skanda the two syllables of hum and sah the series of female messengers of the gods the circles of fire sun and moon and 16 brave ones and 64 demi gods and goddesses and nine postures 
five gods are Brahma, Vishnu, Rudra, Shiva and Sadashiva together with the 51 letters of the alphabet and the noblest of mantras. He says this is all part of the Guru's being. So basically Lord Shiva is explaining his creation, manifestation, different forms and he is saying they are all part of the Guru's circle. He is dedicating it all to the Guru. So you don't need to get into too many technical details of every thing, every character, every person, although they are all having a significant influence, but enough to say that Lord Shiva is dedicating all of them to the Guru. Shloka number 53, Abhyasteha sakalehe sudirgha mani leira vyadhi pradeira dushkarehe pranayama shatere neka what is the then Lord Shiva is saying a beautiful thought. What is the use of practicing hundreds of lengthy, windy techniques for breath control that are difficult and cause diseases if not done properly, as well as many other painful and hard to master exercises to attain the spontaneous natural state, constantly serve your Guru. One should serve one's Guru. When that awakens, the powerful breath immediately stills of its own accord. So Lord Shiva is saying people go through so much practice, so much turmoil, so much effort, but then they don't have Shraddha, they don't have faith in the Guru. They keep thinking they can do it with their own intellect, their own ability, and therefore they struggle. He says, what is the use if all you have is devotion like Meera or Shabri or Namdev, then automatically it will all these things will come to you, devotion will come to you. Shloka 54, Swadeshi Kasyeva Sharira Chintanam Bhavedanantasya Shivasya Chintanam Swadeshi Kasyeva Chanama Kirtanam so now Lord Shiva is giving us directives, directives to the devotees on how to contemplate. He says to contemplate the physical form of one's guru is indeed to contemplate on the infinite form of Lord Shiva himself. To chant the name of one's guru is indeed to the chant the name of infinite Shiva. So here God is giving the glory to Guru as his own self. Then shloka number 55. Yat pada renu kanika kapi sansar varidhe setu bandhayate natham deshikam tamupasmahe I worship that Lord Guru from whose feet even a few particles of dust become a bridge to cross the ocean of worldliness. So therefore let us all remember to stay moist, to stay humble, to stay, stay loving and compassionate towards all, even those who say uh, ignorant or hurtful things and become a dust, follow the dust particles of your Guru become meek and humble and follow his guidance and you will also cross the ocean of this world process. Shloka 56 Yasmadanugraham labdhva mahadhyanam mutsrajeta tasmai shri deshi kendraya namaschabhishta siddhaye Meaning, I bow to that highest of gurus after receiving grace from whom great ignorance is cast aside and my goals are attained. 
So that is the reverence a sincere disciple has towards the Guru because it is not the body, it's the Guru's grace that is being bestowed upon the disciple through the Guru Shishya Parampara, through that channel, through Lord Shiva himself and the instrument becomes the physical body through which you are receiving that. So therefore, when we worship the body, we are simply worshiping the channel, but the energy inside is the main deity. So with this, we conclude our satsang and we'll start from shloka number 57 in tomorrow's satsang. Hari Om Tat Sat.